Welcome back, Screen Runners! Thanos is the current MVP in the MCU's batting list. After all, his nearest rival is Ultron? Red Skull? Loki? Sometimes? Anyway, if the House of Mouse wants to bring back the Mad Titan, he'll likely be without his infamous Infinity Gauntlet. But that doesn't mean he's a pushover. In fact, he's an absolute menace without the cosmic jewelry. Today, we're gonna look at the incredible powers Thanos has both in the MCU and in the comics, many of which seem to be inspired from X-Men characters for some reason. So, relax in your Thanos-approved space throne and let's get started. We'll kick off with a whole host of powers Thanos has brought to the MCU table, the many superhuman abilities he has stashed within himself. As we saw in Endgame when he wiped the floor with Hulk, the Mad Titan possesses superhuman strength. He was easily able to overpower a guy whose whole thing is being crazy strong. Considering the amount of battles he has throughout the MCU in Infinity War especially, you might not be surprised that he also has superhuman stamina. His body produces nearly no fatigue toxins whatsoever. Thanos should probably be the one with Cap's catchphrase. I can do this all day. The MCU doesn't highlight this one as much, but Thanos does have greater speed than the top human athletes. As such, he could wreck Usain Bolt in a race. To go along with that, he also has astonishing agility and reflexes, which comes in handy with his immense fighting skills. Most of these super human powers come from his eternal heritage. Many times during Infinity War, Thanos has an immense battle with an Avenger, only for him to arrive in the next scene with no injury whatsoever. Healing factor! Even near the end of the film, after Thor strikes Stormbreaker into his chest, snaps his fingers, and disappears, Thanos is A-OK -okay in his following appearance. However, as we saw in Endgame, the healing factor does have its limits. He had terrible burns from destroying the Infinity Gauntlet. But considering the cosmic power within the Magic Glove, it's understandable. He also has a little off the top due to Thor and Stormbreaker, which he also didn't heal from. As such, his healing factor is close to Wolverines than Deadpools, as Logan can be injured in certain circumstances, such as the Muramasa Blade coming into play, while Deadpool has even less weaknesses. Although, it would be great if he had Wades. Who doesn't want to see Thanos with little baby legs? Comic Thanos is also able to channel his inner Charles Xavier and slap a mind whammy on fools with his telepathy. On top of this, his noggin is also highly resistant to psychic attacks. Long before the Silver Surfer was Galactus's hype man, he had another herald in his midst. This one was known as the Fallen One. He was powered with dark energy, so of course he was a pretty bad herald. Galactus eventually threw the cosmic being in his drawer of broken toys. Thanos was able to control the mind of the Fallen One and basically make the being his personal herald. That takes some serious power. Thanos is able to do more mundane yet important aspects of telepathy as well, such as reading minds, chatting to folk telepathically, and so on. Thanos has also been known to induce rage into the Hulk, causing him to attack his fellow Avengers, a feat that is incredibly difficult to do as the Jolly Green Giant has his own high telepathic resistance. Not only is Thanos knowledgeable about all things cosmic, he's also well-versed in magic. As such, he's also able to curse people that annoy him, one of which involved Deadpool. In the comics, the story of Infinity Gauntlet was all about Thanos trying to woo Lady Unalive. Yeah, we're changing your name slightly to get around certain YouTube issues. Smart. Anywho, Thanos wipes out half of life in the universe due to love. Such a romantic. Later on, Lady Unalive develops affection for the Merc with a mouth. Thanos was jealous of their blossoming relationship, so he cursed Deadpool with life by banning him from the realm of those slain, making him immortal. As such, Lady Unalive and Deadpool could never truly be together for eternity. Later on, Thanos was able to reverse the magic hold on Wade Wilson. But if Thanos ever returns to the MCU, he could give Doctor Strange and the Scarlet Witch a run for their money with his cursing powers. To begin with in the MCU, Thanos really, really loved his clandestine cosmic chair. Space alliteration. He wasn't a big fan of getting up from it, and the audience collectively wondered if he was fused to it. Well, in the comics, this chair can help the Mad Titan with more than just comfort. It allows him to teleport all over the universe. If Thanos wasn't already terrifying enough, he gets to dabble with Nightcrawler's powers. Thanos can even create portals rather than teleport with his chair. On top of this, he's also able to pop into the multiverse to cause hijinks there as well. It's a good thing that the Infinity Gems don't work in other universes.
resources. Otherwise, he would always have a gauntlet in his possession. Nightmare. Thanos also has access to time travel technology. He calls this tech Time Probe, which sounds a little too naughty for our tastes. Thanos already has many, many powers to terrorize the universe with. Well, Marvel felt like that wasn't enough for some reason. So he was gifted with the ability of matter manipulation. He can change objects on an atomic scale. It can even give him a bit of telekinetic power as well. All the way back in 1973, Thanos popped up in Captain Marvel issue 26. There, he had a scroll named Scrag working for him to annoy the former Kree holder of the mantle, Marvel. Since the Mad Titan is, well, mad, he turns the poor Skrull into stone. He essentially has Medusa-esque powers. Not the inhuman with delightful long red hair, but the ancient Greek culture. In the comic event Annihilation in 2007, Moondragon was infected with body-manipulating parasites due to Annihilus. Thanos used his matter-messing talent to force them out of her body. It sounds like that would have been pretty grim to witness, which it was. Since Thanos can already play around with matter, it sort of makes sense he can do the same with energy. He's able to fire out a concussive blast from his eyes. Because having the powers of Wolverine, Professor X, and Nightcrawler wasn't OP enough. So he also gets the power of another X-Man, Cyclops. Thanos has been known to fire the energy from his hands too. The force of his blasts pack a hefty punch. In battles with Hulk and Thor, Thanos has battered them with his energy skills. He's He's even been able to damage the armor of Galactus, which isn't an easy feat. On top of firing a concussive beam, he can also put out heat, magnetic, and disruptor beams to be even more of a threat, if that's even possible. Thanos is able to play defense with this power by creating energy shields to give him even more protection. This was more easily accomplished with his space throne, but is still possible without it. In Marvel, there are the Eternals. They're insanely powerful and look like humans. Then there's the Deviants. They're typically more monstrous in appearance. Well, Thanos is a bit of both. Sort of. He's an Eternal that has a genetic mutation known as the Deviant Syndrome. Hence the more wrinkled chin. Anyway, due to Thanos being an Eternal, he gets to enjoy one of the powers that they all have. Immortality. They're immune to all known diseases and infections. Plus, he's immune to the effects of aging. Unless the story calls for it, of course. But they can be slain if the injury is severe enough. At one point, Thanos was also banned from the realm of Lady Unalive by the entity herself. This was after he slayed the Silver Surfer, then brought him back to life after Thanos got confused on what she wanted. Relationships are hard, man. As such, even if his wound was bad enough to typically slay Thanos, he would eventually recover. After a while, this saving grace, well, depending on if you're a nihilist like Thanos or not, was reversed. To showcase just how insanely resilient Thanos is, he gets to enjoy being nigh invulnerable. Attacks that would typically send a being to the land of his lady love have little effect on the Mad Titan. During the comic story Infinity, Thanos took with ease three screams from Black Bolt, one of which was from point blank range. This is the same guy that can destroy a city with a whisper, yet Thanos was fine. The only obvious damage was to his clothes. Even when facing off against the Eater of Worlds Galactus, Thanos has barely been injured by battling the cosmic entity. He's also brushed off repeated attacks from Galactus's on and off again cosmic powered lackey, the Silver Surfer. Not wanting to be left out, Odin once had a go at blasting Thanos with his godly powers. Thanos was fine once again. The Mad Titan even coped with the effects of an artificial black hole. Thanos was gifted night invulnerability by Lady Alive after he was brought back to the land of the living. Final fact finish! Before Thanos' mother lost her mind shortly after his birth and tried to attack the baby mad titan, Thanos was originally going to be called Dione. Not quite as intimidating, admittedly. Instead, he was named after the Greek Grim Reaper Thanatos. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see your beautiful faces next time.